and welcome to Ornately Lanterns once again. Nice to see you and thank you for your patience in keeping up with our Richard Lantern, or my Richard Lantern I should say. It's coming along nicely and today we're going to concentrate on the colour red, which as you'll see has got very many heraldic meanings to it. So let's go in and have a look. And we'll start with the stained glass window from Cardiff Castle. And here we are with the Richard Reproduction Lantern. I'm trying to reproduce that stained glass window. I'll just start off in real time to show you how it goes. So as you can see, quiet little dabs of the brush. This is a small area and I need to be careful so as not to get too over the top with the brush. And now we will start speeding up. That will make it quicker and easier. So, we're dealing with red today, which happens to be my favourite colour of them all. Um, and it is a very important colour in um, heraldry and in royalty. Over the years, I'm sure you've seen so many colours which are on royal standards, royal, um, uh, royal coats of arms, royal flags and so on. In fact, a lot of flags all over the world have red. And there are reasons for this. It's a brilliant colour. Now, generally, red is its warm colour, it's positive, it's strong and it's powerful. So all good colours for royalty. Um, it's concerned with our physical needs and our will to survive. So those are perhaps quite masculine concerns. Um, and of course, just about all royalty was masculine. So it's naturally a colour they would take to. All the way through, red is a very positive colour. Now this is the meaning of red, the psychology of red generally, and we'll see in a minute how it relates to heraldry, but you, you'll see from this why it was taken up. It's filled with energy, it excites our emotions, and it motivates us to take action. When you're on a website, um, no matter where it is, the button that's going to catch your eye is the red one, and that's why so many red ones. Uh, websites have their buy button in red. There's a meaning behind it. Red, of course, um, creates life with sexual energy, but uh, negatively, uh, it fuels war and destruction. It's the colour of anger and aggression. And that does fit in with royalty and the military aspects. Red is the colour of leaders. It will inspire ambition and determination. It stimulates your appetite and it increases food cravings. So lots of restaurants are decorated in red as well. In the East, red is the colour for good luck. Um, and although many Chinese brides have been westernized now and wear white, traditionally it's the colour for Chinese weddings. In India it symbolises purity and it's used in their wedding gowns. Now, oh I must be quick, we're on to Anne. In heraldry, red signifies magnanimity, military strength, warrior and martyr, all fantastic meanings. Now Richard's red is actually a Murray red which signifies fortitude or victorious. Um, Murray red is a reasonably popular colour actually for coats of arms. It only pops up occasionally but it is on more than one. It comes up in Canada and in Scotland. And now Murray was tradition hmm, it's meant to be the color of mulberries so that does mean that it's easy to make but it comes out as a reddish brown my red of course is the wrong red it's far too warm but alas i can't find a really good murray red among glass paint and glass paint can't be mixed um you just end well you end up with a, a muddy brown color so not too far off, but not enough of the red. But I think the warm red looks terrific. As you can see, we've nearly finished the Richard Lantern. 
So pretty soon we will be on to the, um, the final painting colours and in this case it's green and then we will look at finishing off the lantern. So I hope you'll join us for that and I will see you soon. Goodbye, thanks for watching and please subscribe and like and comment.